All right, final leg. Back again to talk about a couple highlights from this past weekend. Weekend, of course, the Stockholm Diamond League went down today with some really good highlights. Of course, the main highlight from the meet was Karsten Warholm from Norway in that 400 meter hurdles, absolutely obliterated the field, running out of lane eight. Of course, gets his amazing hard start and holds it through the whole way. Came off the turn, got through the hurdles, hit the 10th hurdle, but still came away with a time of 46. 6.87 seconds improves his personal best of 46.92 seconds of course sticks him at number two all time in the 400 meter hurdles just nine hundredths of a second away from that world record set by kevin young back in 1992 this performance is absolutely amazing i was kind of expecting it after he had run 47.1 seconds just a couple weeks ago so this is really really significant of course like i noted he hit a hurdle this is very reminiscent of kevin young kevin young also hit the 10th hurdle so some great parallels there but I think Carson Warholm is gonna be going for that world record of course he was going for it here but I think it's coming sooner than later not sure if he has any other meets for the season but definitely keep a lookout he might be on world record watch if he goes for another 400 meter hurdle race that wasn't it for Warholm though he came back in the 400 meters flat race just not too long after the hurdles came for the win here in 45.05 seconds not a personal best didn't break 45 seconds but strong performance I think historically this is the best single day double for the 400 meter hurdles and the 400 meters there was a couple others that I was able to see Angelo Taylor uh, Felix Sanchez a couple guys were able to have some really fast 400 meter hurdles and 400 meter doubles on a single day but I think Warholm takes the cake here with his 46.87 seconds and his 45.05 seconds so amazing performances for Warholm showing he is the most dominant 400 meter hurdler in the world right now now I want to jump away Away from Stockholm and head over to Jamaica. We saw Shelly and Fraser Price and Elaine Thompson back for another meet in the 100 meters. We first saw Shelly and Fraser Price running 10.86 seconds, only plus 0.9 meters per second on the win, so very legal, still holding that world leading performance that she has from a couple weeks ago. But this just backs up the performances she's been holding all season. Very consistent, showing that she wants to go for a gold medal at the Olympics next year. But Elaine Thompson is going to be on her heels. They they didn't run in the same heat like they've been going through the whole season doing, but Elaine Thompson managed to run 10.92 seconds, only with a plus 0.8 meters per second win. So just like Shelly Ann Fraser Price, consistent throughout the season, running those sub 11 second runs, and definitely these two are going to be mainstays in that 100 meter dash in Tokyo next year. Now heading back to Stockholm in the men's pole vault, Mondo Duplantis, he's been trying to go for that outdoor world record all season. Of course, he has the indoor world record at 6.8. 18 meters but here he was going for 6.15 meters to give him that outdoor world record unfortunately he couldn't get that but he still managed to jump 6.01 meters a very comfortable clearance of that height as well this is the 10th time that he's gone over the six meter barrier so he's definitely been showing his consistency like i said he's the world record holder indoors and of course that means overall so i think we're going to see him get that outdoor world record soon enough if he has a few more competitions for the rest of the season the men's 1500 meters in stockholm this was touted as going to be one of the fast races on the track unfortunately didn't pan out that way the pacers did go out very relaxed and very calm hitting the paces really effectively but timothy chariot still consistent came away with the win three minutes 30.25 seconds so just about two seconds off the time that he ran back in monaco right behind him jakob ingebrigtsen three minutes 30.74 seconds he was hoping to potentially get his first win over chariot but wasn't to be today he still gets second place but these two are very consistent and definitely going to be the top two going into Tokyo next year. On the flip side, in the women's 1500 meters, Laura Muir was the star of this race here. She dominated the race coming away with a very clear win, three minutes, 57.86 seconds, just about two seconds off her own personal best, a world leading performance for her and showing that she is still in the race for a medal in Tokyo. Of course, the medal at the world championships has eluded her for the past couple seasons, but she's showing she is not to be forgotten. Also, speaking of Laura Muir, her training partner from Great Britain, Gemma Riki. She was running that 800 meters, came away with the win there in 1 minute 59.68 seconds. Just holding off Raven Rogers, who unfortunately faded in the second half of the race, running 2 minutes 1.02 seconds. So the women from Great Britain, Gemma Riki and Laura Muir, taking the wins in their respective events. Finally, let's end things off with that women's high jump. First off in Poland on August 19th, we saw Yulia Levchenko manage to jump 2 meters, taking the world lead in that women's high jump. She actually 
actually just beat out her countrywoman Yaroslava Mohuchik, who managed to jump 1.97 meters, taking second place. But then the roles were reversed just here in Stockholm. Now we saw Mohuchik manage to get the win also in two meters, so tying that world leading performance while Levchenko managed to settle for second place in 1.98 meters. So these two women really just going back and forth throughout the season, showing some great consistency. And of course, Lasuskene is not in the competition here, but we're going to see how things pan out in Tokyo next year. All right, so those are just some of the highlights, the Stockholm Diamond League, as well as some other performances through the week. We still have a couple more performances to look out for for the rest of the season. So keep tuning in. Make sure you guys go in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite performance from this past week was or from the Stockholm Diamond League was. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and be back again next time. Thanks.